Hey everyone, welcome back. We've been away for a little bit, but we have been camping. <laughs> we just haven't been doing too many videos, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. We are um, actually in Middlebury, Indiana, picking up our camper. If you saw a last trip or two, I can't remember how many times, we camped in it three times or? Yeah, but did, I don't know if you released yeah, any of those videos. <laughs> I think we only did one video where the slide was in. Um, yeah, we shot some video of the one. I, we just never released it in Mommy Bay, but anyways. So we had a little bit of issue with our slide and contacted Grand Design. They said, bring it on out and we'll fix it for you. So I did. And um, a couple weeks ago, or no, a week and a half ago, they said it'd be two weeks because they're waiting on parts and they got it done in one week. So we're here, it's Friday, and we're about to pull into their service center and uh, pick it up. All right, so I just went inside and talked to them. Valerie Rogers, she's awesome. Valerie, well, we talked about her last time. They helped us out here as well. So uh, here's their campground. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, about six or six or seven sites here. And they have, um, it's kind of like a little makeshift campground. And they'll let you stay here overnight. Like if you're getting your camper worked on or anything like that so it's also where you drop it off they use it as a drop off point and a pickup point so when I told her we'd be here 1 30 to pick it up she said okay we'll move it to the to the campground that way we can just pull in here and get it so that's what we're doing now all right if you have a weight distribution hitch and it's especially the equalizer and it's making some noises when you're turning waking people up and stuff like that and when I pulled it here a week ago this one was growling pretty loud so it's been a minute since i had greased it but what you do is point the camera down here if you're not grease the hitch ball everybody should be doing that and then on the equalizer system grease underneath this plate put grease on that and then move your bars in and out to get that grease on top and underneath i know it's raining it's hard to see but that you need to grease it there that's what the manufacturer tells you to do they also sell these plates that go on the l bracket that supposedly quieted down that's not what the noise you're hearing is that will quiet down the popping that you hear when you make sharp turns and stuff like that but it also decreases your friction when you're going down the road and you don't want that chances are you're towing it with the vehicle that you need the most weight distributions you can get so if you put those plates on your l brackets that will decrease your friction and you don't want that it's not that's negating the point of having the hitch so grease it here underneath here Watch your fingers because there's some sharp metal under there and because uh, that hitch does kind of create some grooves as you're uh, cutting the grooves as you're pulling down the road. So watch your fingers, maybe do it with some gloves, whatever, but that's where you grease it if you don't want your equalizer hitch to sound terrible and wake up your neighbors. <laughs> and what kind of lube are you using? I just bought theirs, equalizer, but you could probably put just about any grease on it. In a pinch, if I wasn't really, in a, if I was in a hurry, Truck's leaving, it's probably too loud to talk right now. I have just taken white lithium grease and shot it right here on here, like when we're leaving on a trip, and it works just as well. All right, that was it. It was quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. We just walked in there, they handed us the paperwork, said it was done. We came out here and hooked up. I checked the tires. I will tell you this this is no fault to them. Um, put your arm down just a little bit so I can see. Um, I will tell you this that. Um, just as a little bit of a dude's truck sticking out they uh this is not a knock on them but they must have had the wheels off they did like a safety check that's part of the deal and they put my tpms sensors on the wrong tires on the right <laughs> so we got in here to leave and i always check i'm pretty on top of the tire pressure and i was like oh that right front tire is low according to the tpms and i got out and it was like a couple pounds low, but I checked it with my like a manual gauge and it was right. It was spot on. I got back in the truck and it was still said it was low. And then I got out and checked it again. And then it dawned on me that they put the wrong sensors. They put on my TPMS, they, the sensor that's programmed for the front tire, they put it on the back tire and vice versa. So look at what's like, when I worked at the fire department a lot, we'd be like, treat the patient, not the monitor. Right, and that's what's happening here. So the TPMS is telling me one thing, but you have to look and see what's actually happening. So sometimes your 
electrical systems or any of that stuff, you know, isn't necessarily right. It's just measuring what it's measuring, which is the wrong tire. <laughs> so a little bit of common sense, you know, if something doesn't seem right, look a little bit farther past the surface. Don't get kind of tunnel visioned on that. But uh, anyways, we're headed to Finley State Park. Back to Ohio. Back, back to Ohio, quick, quick trip. And um, thanks for following along. We're gonna grab some fuel and then hit the road here. So here we are Friday night, just got into Family State Park. And this is what happens when you do not plan ahead and book sites. We don't book sites, basically. Yeah. I mean. But we learned the hard way that if you don't book a site when there's snow, they don't plow. Yep. We're still so, not gonna book sites though. So here's my plow, right there. I've done more right here than I have in my driveway this year. That's probably fair. All right, I'm shutting the door. We're getting all, getting rid of all the heat this way. Whatever. Bye. All right, we have arrived. You probably already know that by now. Finley State Park. Here's Wade. He's been in the car all day. So Finley's like an hour and a half from our house. We left at 9.45 a.m. and got here like an hour ago. <laughs> we got here like 6.30, I guess. So, um... So we went to Middlebury, Indiana, picked up the camper at Grand Design. Slides be sliding. We got our slide fixed. We put a column in the wall here, right here, which is amazing. We can use the fridge, we can use the oven and the pantry. We were using this cabinet up here above the, the TV for a little bit for pantry, but anyways, we don't really book trips anymore. We kind of took a huge page out of the Wagner book and don't really book trips but for winter camping it's a good idea to book them because they will plow your spot <laughs> we noticed but luckily we had a snow shovel we're good so um that's pretty much it this is our dinner yeah we, we had something else planned but i'm tired it's too late <laughs> yeah we have an awesome dinner tomorrow or probably maybe for lunch yeah. have that made don't don't say anything yet okay i don't want to give it away yeah Just be a little i'm sure mike's gonna like it so anyways, all right, here we are, Finley State Park. Dude, he's been cooped up in the truck all day. <laughs> Last time we were here, the sewer didn't drain, remember? And the sewer hose oh, was full. I remember. <laughs> we were on a full hookup and you went to full and it just went. We'll see what happens stopped. this time. Luckily there was no spillage. Yeah. All right, we'll catch up with you. Here's our site at Finley State Park. It is a full hookup site in the summer. <laughs> right now it's not, of course. <clears throat> but it's concrete pad. This is the last site before you start down the, the hill to like the boat ramp area. And um, it's a decent site. It does slope a little bit front to back. Actually quite a bit. I think it was, now nah, I forget how far, it was pretty far off. It's site number 243. And uh, it's a little bit deeper than that. I can't get the camper. Our camper's 34 feet. And there's, I don't know, there's a few feet of pad left back behind it there. I just couldn't get in there because of the snow. But it's not too bad. Pretty nice little site. It does slope. It's hard to see in video. Slopes never show up, but from here to about right there there's a big pretty much a big slope once you get back into the site it's not as bad but that's it it is like i said the last one before you go down this hill to the boat ramp pretty decent 
these uh rows right here these are all full hookups as you can see here you can't see the sights because there's so much snow but all those are full hookups on the right hand side the ones on this side are actually primitive What you think about that walk? Too bad. Yeah. I could have gone without it. Yeah, me too. You know me, but I mean, we're yeah, here. We're, we're kind of the good. same. <laughs> I could be sitting back at the camper right now. Me and you had a pack that once we said it was enough, we were going to go back. Yeah. We're still here. The problem is we went too far. We before did, exactly. We, yeah, we threw in the towel. It's like, right. all right, we're past the point of no return. <laughs> now we're halfway no, there. Back. We have yeah. to go back. Well, we have to now. You have to turn back when you get to the halfway point. There's no, there's no choice, there's right? There's no choice, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I thought you said 25 just to... I thought you said five. 25 miles to the campground. <laughs> or point five. I, I had the decimal point in the wrong place. Yeah, you better move that. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them what we're doing. I'm making Dave's special. What is it? Dave's special is wagon wheel pasta, mac and cheese. Yep. And this is the... Um, amazing the cheese amazing whiz. Cheese Cheese whiz. And uh, mix a little butter, some butter, milk, milk, crackers, crackers, wagon wheel pasta. This is the wagon wheels. And it makes a little casserole. You can get these and like they are here, the real small ones, but the butter ones are the, uh, these are like the size of like a nickel. The ones are like that big or better. Just Andrea never buys them for me. No, you can never find them at the store is the problem. So anyways, you'd, you know, put a little of this and that in there. I can't give away the secret, you know. <laughs> and then you, uh, if you watch our omelet making video, hopefully this you turns put it out in there. The you gotta turn on the oven and stuff. So I don't want to give away too many secrets on how how good I cook. So, so one thing I realized is I have to crush these crackers, and at home I put them in a Ziploc pan or a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin. But in the camper, we don't always have. Uh, yeah, we don't have all the, pen. all the tools, so I don't have a rolling pen. So I'm yeah. trying to decide that. Uh, just use that bottle. A cup or bottle would work. Yeah. So That's we're gonna fine. have to improvise. In the meantime, I'm gonna solve this puzzle from the 1900s. You guys probably remember this. Some of you that follow our channel are old enough to remember that from back in the 1900s. So um, I'm gonna get that done here in a couple minutes. Larry called me out and says I take the stickers off of it, but we'll see. Oh man, look at this right here. Whoa, dang. Nothing like an empty can of cheese whiz. Look over here. I missed some noodles. Oh man, did you put the- Look at that, I wasted some noodles. Man. This is gonna be amazing. Now, the other time, <laughs> I had too many crackers on it. So you tell me what you think. Like, that's good for that side, I think. I don't know. I think you just, yeah, about like that. Can we finish off what I have, or you think that's good? I don't know. Because what happened last time is it was like the crackers uh, soaked up. I don't know how to describe it. Okay. It had too many crackers. I don't know what else to say.
Now we wait. Now I set a timer. All right. All right. This is amazing. There's the masterpiece. <laughs> Set her down. Be careful. Be I know. Careful. I'm trying. It's heavy. Be careful. It's like a lot of cheese in there. Anyways, those wagon wheel noodles, if I can get this to zoom right, are amazing. They're way better than any other noodles. But like I said, the ones, these are like the size of a nickel. If you get them like that, I don't know how big. Anyways, larger than that. It's amazing. If you good. want this recipe, comment below, <laughs> yeah. and I can give you the recipe. It's kind of a secret. Not really. But, um, yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. You guys will enjoy it. Add something else to the list of things to make in the camper. You know what I think we should put in it next time? Bacon bits. I don't know. You can, you can try that on your side. That would be good. They probably are. I like bacon as bacon. I don't like to put it in anything else. All right, it was just a thought. All right, Larry, you called me out. You said I took the stickers off this. I wanna show you. If you were born in the 1900s, you should be able to do this because you've had like 30 years to, to learn this. So anyways, here we go. I might speed this up just because it takes about three or four minutes, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I can do it. Go. Yeah. Got both rows. Here at a minute fifty. There you what? go. What? That might be a new record. Larry, this is for you. Shoot a video, send it to me. Challenge. He, he said he takes the stickers off. I did that too when I was seven. Oh, here he's, he's back already. Too late. Yeah. He's done popped up. Dave wants his now. He's sitting here being all jelly and won't go get it. So it looks, it looks like he needs some help getting this fire going. <laughs> See what we can do. We're going to melt the rest of the ice. Okay, time to back up. That's the one I knew about. That's how an Indigo is. So yeah, I did too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I got an iron high. I don't know which way to go. We got to go opposite yeah. sides. Yeah. Point you got to go low? from where, where, where Mike was. Yeah, don't, don't point at each other. <laughs> you got to go from where Mike was before, and you'll go from right there. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh, jeez. Chuck, I'm sorry about your tent. <laughs> Perfect spot, hey, it's yeah. so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's hot. You both burned. Hey, that's great. Third degree burns. Take it in the snow, Dave. Take it in the snow. Nice campfire, Chuck. Thanks, man. Chuck does not have a fire. Man. In the picture, get out. Oh. It's not a picture, it's a video. Oh, Ow. Okay. Yeah, Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 To a good fire. Yeah. <laughs> to Mike. <laughs> to Mike. To Mike. <laughs> you missed Thanks, out, Mike. Kenny. The best fire stoker that's ever stoked right there. <laughs> right. That's true. That's <laughs> true. All right, it's Sunday morning. We're about to get out of here in a little bit. And uh, it snowed last night <laughs> again, yeah. which is awesome. 
But uh, we're going to walk over and see Chuck and Sherry before they get out of here. Andrea had a little run-in this morning with Sasquatch. Or Dude, I was walking the dogs. Rabbit wolf. I'm not sure what it was. Something was in the woods and I couldn't see it, but it growled and I ran. <laughs> so. and it was like four in the morning, so it was you know pitch yeah. black dark here. No lights are on. Anyways. Yeah. I, I don't think it was that big a deal. I didn't have a problem. It was probably a loose dog or something. I don't know, but it scared the crap out of me. So I, I took off running, dragging the poor dogs behind me. Anyways, <laughs> Cash wasn't scared. Cash wasn't scared. <laughs> All right, we're going to walk over to Chuck and Cherry. Yep. All right, here they are. Good morning, guys. Guys are getting roaming ready to roam, huh? Oh, yeah, we are. Let's see if we can trek through this snow. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a little hairy for that hour drive. Yeah. yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah, those tires look good on there. Yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We run into trouble, we'll call you. Yeah, that's fine. I know a guy. <laughs> well, yeah, I know a guy, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, anyways, awesome weekend. It was an awesome yeah. weekend. It was fun. It was a great time. Yep. The snow made it even more fun. It did. Yeah. Bill so, stopped by this morning. Did he? Had a good conversation with him. That's and, cool. So yep. Good time with good friends and new people and... That's what you do when you come out here, isn't it? That's right. It's all camping. Oh, no matter yeah. how you do it, what you travel in or exactly. what you camp in, right? So. Exactly. From the Super C to your 34-footer. Yep. Yep. To this 12-footer <laughs> to being in a sleeping bag on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and enjoying it. Exactly. He enjoyed enjoying his, his time yeah. just as much as we did yep. sitting in front of our fireplace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're pretty sure the people down there got dropped off. Someone dropped that camper off, and they just showed up, and they're using it. So. Yeah. yeah. You can't However beat it. you got to do to get out here, get out here and do it. That's right. All right. Hate to say we're closing it out because people will stop watching because that's usually what happens. We're like, oh, we're about to get out of here. And I look at the analytics and it's like, you know, people yeah. start leaving. So watch the end of this video. <laughs> so we camped with uh, Chuck and Sherry this weekend from En Route with Chuck and Sherry and uh, Mike and Lynn from Wandering Wagners. And it's because of them that there was this precipitation outside, yeah. I think, because it's it just their thing. This would all be rain if it wasn't cold. <laughs> Instead, it's snow. It's just because it's cold. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. It's an awesome trip. Yeah. We got our camper back. We talked a little bit about that. Um, <clears throat> Grand Design fixed it at no charge to us, which is awesome. Yeah. I can't thank them Great enough for that stuff. They did, and their whole experience with just taking it in there and how they're on top of stuff is really cool. I mean, yeah. they, they do things how businesses should operate, which is great. Yeah. Unlike most RV dealers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One thing I do want to show you guys is Chuck was telling me a story about having to jumpstart someone when he was camping. So I have one of these in every one of our vehicles, and then I have an extra one for the camper. It's a NOCO. You can get these on Amazon. This is the GBX 55. It's a little bit larger. It starts up to a 6-liter diesel. I think it's 8-liter gas or something. I can't remember the gas, but... I have a smaller one. It's like a six liter gas and four liter diesel. But uh, so it wouldn't jump start my truck, but I do have two of them. So that would I could hook them both up. But anyways, the big thing is so Kenny called <laughs> a couple days ago. What a surprise. And he had a problem with his battery on his camper. He's up in Michigan snowmobiling. And he was explaining to me what was going on. And he needed he needs a battery. That's the you know, it sounds to me like the battery is low on water and he needs a battery. But anyways, if he had one of these he could have hooked that up, put it in override mode, and ran, run, you know, run the slides in with that because those slides are 12 volts. But so it's not just a jump starter; you can use it for other things. Everyone should have one of those. It should be in your camper, in your truck, something like that. But they're not too expensive. I did buy a couple of them on Black Friday sale. That was, they were like 40 or 50 percent off, which is awesome. But uh, anyways, that's it. We're out of here. It's gonna be an awesome drive home. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be bad. <clears throat> this is it. It's supposed to stop here in a little bit, but that won't be a problem. And uh, that's it. Just thanks for watching the channel. Yep. Thanks we for watching and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We appreciate it.